Student meteorologist Princeton, and this is your midday weather report for October 16th, 2024. It's right around 1 o'clock, and as you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing sunny skies but a number of clouds. The current temperature is 54 degrees, and it appears to be a perfect day to run around and go outside. Tonight and leading into the early morning, you expect to see the temperature drop with an increase of clouds. We have no chance of precipitation today, and as always, have yourself a wonderful day, and now let's take it back to the studio. Thanks for the update, Princeton. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Robert, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. Have you heard about the new Disney virus? It makes everything on your computer go goofy. How do trees get on the internet? They log in. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow. And until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Robert and Isabella. Now for all the word lovers out there, we present to you the word of the day. Hi, my name is Oliver, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is enigma. Enigma is a noun. Enigma can be defined as someone or something that is extremely puzzling. In a sentence, enigma can be used like this. Critics complained that the plot twists made the movie an enigma. Enigma, can you use it today? Thanks kids, now let's go to Anthony and Clara, today's true or false. Hello, my name is Clara and today's true or false topic is Disney. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. True or false, Toy Story was Pixar's first movie. True, it was made in 1995. True or false? Dumbo is the shortest Disney film. True. This feature length film runs only 64 minutes long. Pin true or false? Pinocchio was the first animated full color Walt Disney film. False. It was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Thanks for watching today's True or False. Now let's take it back to the studio. Thanks, kids. Now from the Creative Mind and Tori, let's look at today's stop motion short titled Random Things. While at String Middle School and in the community, we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. In spirit of things, we wanted to explore the following. If kids were at their lockers, how can they be safe, responsible, and respectful? Let's see what some students at MESMS had to say about this. If somebody doesn't lock their lock, we can lock it for them, and maybe they'll, like, understand. So I see people aren't locking their locks. So me and my friends, we go around and we lock them and they, yeah, so people don't steal their stuff. I think like maybe you should like go around and like close like everyone's locker because like if it's like unlocked, then like somebody's gonna like take something from their locker. I can make sure lockers are locked by if I see one open, I can close it and put the locker on. We can be safe and respectful and responsible by locking our locks. Um, we can say someone is going in our lockers, taking out things, we need to tell a teacher, then we all stay like safe. Something you can do to stay safe, responsible, and respectful is tell an adult if people aren't locking their lockers, just to make sure that they have their privacy. Not use the lock. Because not only could someone steal all the stuff that you have in your locker, they could take your lock. So it's like just lock your locker. It's that simple. One way I think people could keep their lockers safe is by locking their lock always when they go to another class and, and not telling people their codes. Some kids aren't locking their lockers and that's making it vulnerable for people to steal something inside their lockers. Some way we can, we can prevent this happening is actually making sure we're locking our lockers and just being more cautious of what's going inside their lockers or, or people who are going past their lockers. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Dahlia and May with Today in History. 
Hi, my name is May, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place throughout recorded history on the day October 15. On this date, in the year 1951, the first episode of I Love Lucy aired on American television. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on I Love Lucy. Lucille Ball only agreed to be on the show if her real husband would co-start with her. Let's look back in history for the day October 15th. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Now let's go to today's core extra. So to the fit I'm wearing today, I'm wearing a black Under Armour sweatshirt. I'm also wearing black Under Armour pants. And then, you know, I, I gotta be rocking the black Under Armour shoes. And that's the fit of the day. Hi, my name is Dominic, and welcome to the segment Dedicated. How do I forgot? Congratulations to Matthew. Thanks for that update, Dahlia. Now let's try to put on. Let's try to blink. We want to thank everyone who contributed to today's show. Make sure to be safe. Oh wait, no. Make sure to. The upcoming and current weather with our student meteor, me, 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 meteorologist. <laughs> Toy Story was Pixar's first movie. True, it was. It was made. Uh. To solve LCM, you have to list. I keep missing that. And fifty million dollars. Welcome to. No, we'll cut that out. We'll cut that. Out. We'll cut that. We'll cut that out. We're quitting. Thanks kids. We were wondering, what are kids' favorite sports team? Let's see what the kids in the hall had to say. The New York Yankees are my favorite sports team because they are the best team in the world and better than the Mets. Mets, Dre World Series, Yankees 27. The Yankees because they're, they're just goaded like that. <laughs> my favorite sports team is the Knicks because I go to one game every year. Jets because they're cool. Hello. My name is Lorenzo. My favorite sports team is the Knicks because not only we're in New York, but they're going to go all the way this year. Jalen Brunson's going to carry the team. He should win an MVP, 33 points per game. It's happening today. Uh, Real Madrid because of Vinicius Jr. My favorite team is the New York Alice in the PLL because there's a bunch of Yorktown guys on there, including Brad Maycock. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Jackson and Rishi with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon. My name is Rishi, and today's lesson is for math class. Today in math class, we learned about GCF and LCM. For of LCM, you have to list multiples of the two numbers. Once you come across some multiple that is the same for two numbers, there is your LCM. Now let's take it back to the studio.
Pod. Say one again. <sighs> I'm Oliver, and here we're going to be playing Hit the Bolt. The rules are that each player gets three tries to hit this bolt, that bolt, with this ball. Let's see if Anthony or me can do it. Come up first. Yeah. He hit he it too hard. There was We want to thank everyone who contributed to today's show. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next episode. Until then, stay safe, responsible, and respectful. Have a great day.